Well, as we get into our Tuesday, you want to grab that umbrella as you step outside. It's going to be a bit of a soggy day here as we get into this afternoon. Once some of that rain really starts to push back in, as we get into this afternoon, we'll be dealing with some of these showers on and off here as we get throughout the morning. But it's that afternoon that may come in a little bit on the loud side here with a few rumbles of thunder possible. We'll just jump into the latest run of future track here. We get on the other side of about midday again, a lot of this staying fairly tame until we get into about two and three o'clock when some of that rain starts to push back in. And again, seems like it's trying to pick on some of our northern counties with some of the heavier amounts. That looks like that's going to be the case again as we get into this afternoon. Get you all the way up to about seven and eight o'clock, still hanging on to those showers. They'll be kind of coming and going all throughout the afternoon into the evening hours, but we're not quite done yet here. We'll see a little bit of a break in the activity. And then about midnight or so or into the early morning hours, that system actually starts to push on through. You can kind of see a little bit of that swirl to it. That's the system itself carrying on through the area, and that's going to fire up another round, it looks like, into tomorrow morning. We'll finally push everything off toward the east. Unfortunately, cloud cover may be a little bit stubborn to move on, but one thing we're going to have to watch for into uh, tonight, that second round, that round that's after midnight, may come in a little bit stronger as that system actually spins on through. It can maybe give those storms a little extra kick here as they move on through. So we'll have to watch some of those southern counties for the best potential at seeing any of that. Looking at some of these severe ingredients, we're missing a big one, and that's why we're not overly concerned about this setup here. At least as of this morning, missing a lot of that instability here, that fuel for some of those storms just isn't there and we don't think it's going to show up here as we get into tonight. That's the good news. The bad news is got to deal with that rain once again and have a pretty firm grip on that uh, umbrella for our Tuesday. We'll move a lot of that out as we get into Wednesday, at least the second half of Wednesday. We're free and clear though as we get into Thursday and Friday. Going to be some spectacular weather to hopefully Take that Thanksgiving feast outdoors here as we get into this week. But looking at that ABC 17 storm track seven day forecast, there's Thursday and Friday back into the 50s, back into the sunshine. Then we're going to be trying to keep that around as we get into Saturday and Sunday. You may notice those rain chances don't look nearly as menacing as we get into this week. And that's something that we're also going to be tracking here over the next couple of days.